Yeah, man. So in the world of uh, NFTs, we had some breaking news for one of the most popular hip hop artists out right now. Tory Lanez reportedly sells a million copies of his one dollar NFT album in 57 seconds. He hopped on Instagram immediately, started celebrating. And one of his mentions were that he wasn't just excited that he made that much money, but because now his consumers, his listeners are also going to be making money with him. Man, we've been talking about, you know, this whole NFT thing for a minute now, and a lot of stuff is starting to come to pass. So uh, what are your thoughts on this article? I think uh, it is exciting. It's good to see that, um, you know, people, it had, NFT had its bubble pop for, what was that, a few months? It was a long bubble. Mm -hmm. Uh, And now, I think from that, a lot of people started to make a lot of different projects around nfts um that's it's good and bad Mm -hmm. um the the bad part about that is that if you're trying to resell the nft Mm -hmm. and it's on like all these different marketplaces and there's no consolidation of hey here's the exchange where you can get good liquidity to resell okay um sometimes what happens with smaller cryptocurrencies is that it'll start to go up in value and then people will find that there's nowhere for me to sell this. Yeah. Uh, so it could be worth, you know, there's stories of people having like $4 million worth of some cryptocurrency and they can't sell it off. Yeah. So with this NFT, um, I'm not sure which platform it was done on, which exchange uh, it was done on, but that's that's the bigger problem I see with the NFTs. Like you can, you can transfer them um, from wallet to wallet, mm-hmm. but the the ease of use mm-hmm. for mass adoption is what's needed. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, you need to make it easy as as easy as possible mm-hmm. uh, for people to to get on one exchange to sell it off. Um, so that's, that's where a, a platform like rally would come into play Yes, uh, to just have it not, not centralizing the idea that, uh, you know, one person is controlling the whole thing, but centralizing the idea that, uh, it's easy to, to liquidate. Mm -hmm. Um, I see the good part in this is that, uh, at least a million copies were sold. That doesn't mean a million individual people. Mm -hmm. Um, it means a million copies were sold of his NFT album uh, in a very short period of time. So the the ICO time, um, or the I guess IPO, because technically it wasn't a coin. So the initial public offering of this um, was good. Mm-hmm. Like it's good to see things shoot up at the start. It means there's a lot of demand. Um, but I, I see NFT still going under the creator coin yeah um people had the the question of like what what benefit is this tory lane's uh nft going to have in five years or yeah. 10 years mm-hmm. um i don't know it could go up it could go down but the thing that's going to help stake the value in that nft would be is that if that there was an added benefit to that like yes. if people um had exclusive rights to tickets so you had early purchase to tickets for right. toilet uh, shows or you had um zoom one-on-one zoom calls um like stuff like that extra stuff yeah this was gonna hold up the value of the nft because when you have a small cap stock versus a large cap stock uh the large cap stock got there because enough people left their money Mm -hmm. in that asset Mm -hmm. and there's a reason they left their money in that asset because the company itself keeps producing good results right so when you have a company full of like thousands of people that's going to be a lot harder to just like bankrupt yeah than one guy right 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 Right? Mm -hmm. so story lanes could uh, in theory i don't know go commit a crime there's a question of him committing a crime before but go commit a another more verifiable crime right. um next week yeah and then that nft just drops mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to nothing yeah over one dude right so not an entire organization one guy one guy so even if you have like the ceo of 
you know, trade desk or Amazon or wherever, mm-hmm. like if they do something stupid, stock does, does go down, but like there's still a bunch of people under there that yeah. can like try to patch that back up. Right. With individual creator coins uh, or like NFTs, it is a bit more risky. Mm-hmm. Um, so it can either go up a lot more or it can go down a lot more, just like small cap stocks. Like right. They can shoot up a bunch and down a bunch yeah. uh, in a day. But that's that's my take on it, man. It's it's exciting. It's good. Um, we we just got to get this system tighter so that uh, we get mass adoption of it. The everyday person needs to be able to just hop on and like understand this and like start to start to buy and sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that makes sense. 